require a product which is demanded by you know world at large it's time for us to uh, show globe that uh, we are just uh, not a low cost labor uh, we can develop uh, products investments in r&d are extremely important uh, it is required to make india technologically self reliant it's very important that the private sector also gets involved uh, in a substantial manner uh, manner invests uh, substantially in r&d having said that uh there is a support needed a seed support would be needed from the government this is the only way indian companies can in the long run move, move up the value chain they can uh, they can offer a product designed and developed and certified by them design and development is essential to not only remain in business but to do more and more and to succeed in make in india the regulatory environment is Uh, far too strong. We have to deregulate this industry, uh, then and bring out the entrepreneurship in the companies. This is a test for that would be when the environment that is an ecosystem that enables them to raise funds, to get private equity investment, the innovation that's going to happen when you deregulate. Most of the MSMEs are making in India um, uh, all along. The MSMEs do not have the required infrastructure. um the within their companies so for that uh, government obviously have to uh, give a helping hand by creating some common uh, uh, facilities where a cluster of companies can use that common facility and uh, still uh, produce a world class um, products investment and infrastructure i would take that as one and the other one is uh, uh, investment in skills and then indian companies will be competitive they'll thrive and the growth in the sector not only produce in the country but supply it all over the world not only once but repeatedly